that you drive every day, whether it's a car, SUV, or truck, take that vehicle and go camp and go sleep in your vehicle for a night. Whether it's rainy, sunny, cloudy, whether it's cold or hot, go out there and camp and build a fire and be among all the elements and really live out of your vehicle for a day or two or even multiple days. And doing something like this gives you a, quite a bit of perspective on the lifestyle that Instagram and Facebook and YouTube doesn't really show. I mean, we often show you, I'm guilty of this as well, we often show you a lot of the glamorous sides of the lifestyle, but in reality, sleeping in a vehicle is honestly pretty vulnerable and scary sometimes. And it's cold, it's hot, it's creepy at night when you're by yourself. So I highly recommend before you invest a lot of money into this lifestyle, go sleep in your car a couple times. I promise you, it'll do you good. It'll probably give you a surefire answer of whether or not you actually want to do this. Routes you can go to do this. My favorite is online income. You could do DoorDash, you could do Instacart, you could do seasonal jobs. The way you sign up for those is at coolworks.com and Occupation Wild. All you have to do to find an online income is look up good ways to make money online. So what's my story? How did I end up in this van at 17 years old? Basically, COVID had started and I was grinding a ton of different jobs. I was saving up all the while to just go to college and have money to spend. But then this dream I had always had became a financially realistic thing to achieve. And that's when I started to take action. I started by watching a lot of YouTube like you are right now and getting all of this information that I'm starting to give you guys. And then I took to the marketplace. You're going to want to be checking places like OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, a lot of private sellers because that gives you the most room to negotiate. This is really good because you can put your budget as three to four thousand dollars over your max budget and then talk them down that's exactly what i did with this van i think it was listed at 12 and i got it down to nine before i moved into an suv i spent a lot of time pouring over google maps looking at ioverlander and freecapsides.net and blm land trying to determine where i would potentially sleep once i moved out of my apartment and would it be in close proximity to the gym so I could shower, a library, a coffee shop so I could work and have Wi-Fi, grocery stores? There were a lot of factors I had to consider and my mind was just racing like, where am I going to sleep? How am I even going to make this work? This is going to be so weird. I actually spent the first night on Residential Street a block away from my apartment because it's where I used to go running in the morning and I was familiar with the area and I knew people there, so I just stayed there. And then after that, I was rumbling down forest roads and sleeping out on a mountain pass. At first it was really scary, but then I eased into it and it was fine. My plan B was to rely pretty heavily on friends um, to just go park in their driveway or outside their house on the residential street with their permission. Plan C was basically to dip into my savings and get a hotel for one to two weeks to reevaluate my situation and my life <laughs> and potentially go apartment hunting and scrap the whole plan and yeah, get an apartment. So thankfully I adjusted to road life pretty well and pretty quickly, but having all of those plans in, in place definitely gave me some peace of mind.